Hello guys, it's Korean Vlogger here and those of you who have already been to the YSD campus will know that I'm in a community room at said campus um, and I'm going to show you how to connect to the wireless internet here. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a complicated process, it's not just connect to Wi-Fi and then you're on Wi-Fi. Um, so I'll be showing you how to do that. Bear in mind that I haven't done this since like March, so it's it's been quite a while. So if I make any mistakes, uh, bear with me. And I'll be making a Korean dubbed version of this as well, or subtitled. Um, so yeah, open up your laptop or PC, if you have wireless on your PC, to any, um, yeah, at any wireless signal area you can get. Click on this little icon, the wireless icon, and then I'll bring you up several connections. You got Yonsei, Yonsei Mac, and Yonsei Info. First one you're going to want to click on is Yonsei Info. So double click on that and then it'll say connecting, connecting, and then it'll connect. Now what you need to do is you're not connected to the internet yet. You're just going through the authorization, pro authorization process. And I found that Google sometimes doesn't work. Um, so you want to open up Internet Explorer and it'll show you this page. Blah, 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 Yonsei uh, International Campus Wireless Internet Service. We'll have some English, not all of it is translated that well, but essentially, um, you've got your manuals and uh, agents, blah, blah, Mac, uh, this is PC, this is Mac, um, this is your Android smartphone, iOS, etc. Uh, I've never tried it on Nokia or Blackberry. Some people have told me that they have problems with those two, so if you got those phones, then good luck. But basically, you want to type, uh, you want to click the agent, I'm going to go with English, uh, just click on it, and it'll redirect you to the download page, probably, um, or, yeah, it's saying, do you want to download this, I'll just click run, um, it's running security checks, and this, this is the same process that you do for any um, computer or smartphone on, uh, oh, look, my uh, antivirus cells tells me that there's a um, <laughs> that there is uh, Trojans in this download. Lovely. Um, I don't think there is. I've used it before. Yep. Uh, so my antivirus prevented it from installing correctly. I'm going to install it again. And installing, installing. Oh, bear with me here. Um, I'm using my camera to record a screen because my computer is sort of new ish. And well, the operating system is new. Um, because I got a fresh operating system installed after my hard drive failed. So I don't have a screen recorder. I hope you can see everything. And this, you guys know how to install this, this basic process. So after the installation is complete, um, yeah, installation completed, you go to your desktop. It will give you this little icon. Um, yeah. You open it up, it will give you this window. Uh, for identity, that's your student ID number. Password is your student ID password. You can opt to save your ID and your password. I'm going to do that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to enter my password and ID. Yes. Um, then I'll give you this window. Blah blah blah. IP uh, configurations, and it'll say network available and network connected. So now you're good to go. You'll see that you are now connected to the Yonsei network. So Yonsei info is uh, Yonsei info. Essentially, you need to connect to it once to get this program. And if you can't get this program for whatever reason, um, you can download it, move the installation agent to another computer and then uh, upload it that way and install it. It works the same way. So now I'll show you that the internet is working uh, by going to google.com, Google, and voila. Now let's go to news. So you can see that it's actually working. Uh, news, news comes up. Yep, so everything's working. Um, yeah, that's that's how you get wireless internet. Uh, you can only get it if you are a student or have access to a student ID for some reason at Yonsei University. So um, don't try to connect uh, 
illegally, I guess. You can connect to it uh, on your smartphone as well, and there's no limitation of how many devices can be connected under one account, as far as my knowledge goes. And you don't have to set up the entire process again. Um, you might have to log in occasionally, but it logs in automatically for everyone that I know. Uh, sometimes, like every two weeks or so, I had to log in, but it only takes a couple of seconds. And uh, wireless internet is actually very good whenever or wherever you can get it connected. There are Cisco, um, I can't find any right now. There should be one in here, but there are Cisco um, wireless routers that are uh, 802 something something X speed or 802.11N speed. Either way, it's really fast internet um, for what you get for free. So I hope that helped you out. And if this helped you out, please press the like button and uh, subscribe for more helpful tips. I'll see you guys next time.